With that, let's now walk over and take a look at the subject of our second road test this week. This little number is a two-door Isuzu iMark. If it looks familiar, it should. A few years ago, it was sold through Buick dealers as the Opal by Isuzu. Isuzu is partially owned by GM, but on their own now, they're now the latest in a long line of Japanese importers. What we have here is another example of how the car world is a small place after all. This model began life as the oriental version of the Chevrolet Chevette, but it's got something else going for it now. You can get it as a diesel, and at a base price of $6,800, it's the least expensive imported diesel now available in the U.S. The Isuzu iMark diesel comes equipped with a 1.8-liter four-cylinder power plant backed by the company's 45-year history of making these engines for trucks. Our car had the standard five-speed overdrive manual, but you can also get it in a three-speed automatic. Mileage is the name of the game for diesels, and the EPA rates the manual at 39 city, 50 highway. During the course of our testing, we experienced a range of 38 to 43. It's hard to argue with those numbers for a heavy 2,500 pound subcompact. Our car was the top of the line LS, which means fancy paint and black chrome. But even with square headlights and a slightly sloping grille, the styling of this iMark shows its age. This teardrop fastback shape was very popular both here and abroad during the 1960s and 70s. But in general, this style has given way to the aerodynamic box of the 80s. That's not to say the Isuzu is unattractive, quite the contrary. It's just that it won't win any state-of-the-art styling awards. The interior also is a bit behind the times, but contained all the latest comfort features so common in Japanese cars. The dash actually has a sprig of wood tone around its black edge. And every iMark sports a full complement of gauges, including a tachometer, and on the center console, a quartz clock. For a diesel, the Isuzu is very fast starting, with a wait of only four seconds for the diesel's preheat light to flash off. Driving the iMark also brings back memories, some good and some bad. Acceleration is okay, actually quite good at low speeds, particularly for a diesel. In fact, you could almost say the iMark is peppy. Ride and steering, on the other hand, are historic. The manual rack and pinion system is very slow and only pays off in being able to turn the wheel easily for parking. Over bumpy roads, the iMark lights to oscillate, but is remarkably smooth on commuter highways, where most Isuzus are likely to live. That peppy acceleration I mentioned fades as you pick up speed. Our 40 to 55 mile per hour passing test took 10 seconds. That time seems to be about average for most diesel cars. Running a quarter mile in a diesel is worth doing just for the sport. The iMark takes a leisurely 21 seconds and a just illegal speed of 65 miles per hour. The iMark makes a very small mark when turning. The curb to curb diameter measured a tight 31 feet, just right for U-turns. Most of us were quite surprised that even with soft springs and slow steering, the iMark actually handled quite respectively. Quick turns did produce a lot of body roll, but control was never in doubt. There was also a fair amount of understeer, the tendency of the front end to plow into a curve. This is probably due to the heavy diesel engine that translates into 60% of the Isuzu's weight being over the front wheels. Even with these drawbacks, the iMark exited the course faster than it entered and should be more than adequate for most normal driving situations. Braking turned out to be one of the most confusing features of our test car. From 30 miles per hour, a consistent average of 44 feet was recorded. We rated that good. From 55, however, things got funny. The average distance was a long 160 feet, and individual stops varied widely. There was no fade, however, and no pull. The front wheels did lock a bit easily and produced some rear end hop, but the car never strayed from the straight and narrow. The iMark is old style, front engine, rear drive. That combined with being a diesel means very good engine accessibility. Drive belts are easily serviced. The oil filter is reached from up top and the oil filler is in plain view. Only the dipstick is buried. Fastbacks usually mean low backseat ceilings. Not so in the iMark. Two six foot commuters will fare well in all areas except knee room. 
Fastbacks also usually mean hatchbacks. Wrong again. The enclosed and very deep trunk handled all our luggage. The temporary spare tire is also located out of the way inside the fender. The iMark has two main competitors in the U.S. market, the domestic-made VW diesel and the Chevrolet Chevette diesel. The Chevette actually uses the identical powertrain to the Isuzu. The iMark is slightly longer than either, and although price between these rivals comes with far more equipment standard. Fuel economy on all three is similar. Our feelings? The Isuzu iMark is a competent commuter car that's showing its age. However, Isuzu being the only Japanese importer to offer a diesel car is carving out a unique niche for itself. The iMark and its mini truck line are now waiting to be joined by the truly modern Isuzu sports car due next year. That trio should provide Isuzu dealers with a most unique set of car and truck lines, one that other car makers will undoubtedly pay a lot of attention to in the months ahead.